Okay guys, this is going to be a reasonably quick how-to video about how to make your own weathering powders or pigments. Shut the back door, it's getting a bit chilly in here now. Okay, so what we'll need for this is an empty paint pot, any of your choice, some soft, uh, soft pastels, don't get oil pastels, it doesn't work. Uh, we'll also need a coffee grinder or mortar and pestle, whatever you've got to hand. I'm a bit lazy, so I'm going to use my old coffee grinder because nothing beats fresh ground coffee. Well, you have to leave it a couple of days, of course, otherwise it tastes like mud, but yeah, that's me. So the principle is very simple. We get our pastels, so they come. I bought this, I think it was £3.99 from a craft shop. Doesn't have to be expensive pastels, just any will do. Pick what colour we want. Um, I'm running low on a nice, like, bluey colour, so we will make a... We've got rust colours in here, you could use this for rust, actually. I think I might do the rust one actually, we'll do this one. Nice sandy earth colour. Okay, so it's very simple, very easy to do. What we do is we'll just, just move my cup of water out of the way because I might electrocute myself. This is probably a bit better with a mortar and pestle, but I haven't got one. Well I did have one, lent it to next door and it's never come back. So I'm too lazy to use a mortar and pestle, so I use a coffee grinder. Break our pastel up, put it into our coffee grinder, as easy as that. We close it up, turn it on, whiz it. I'll pause the video because I don't want to deafen you with the sound of this noisy machine. Okay, so that's our powder whizzed. And our coffee grinder. You can grind it as fine or as coarse as you like, it doesn't really matter sheet of A4 paper, I'll just sprinkle this out to check its, check its coarseness, that looks good to me. Now we need our paint pot, might not all fit in here, we'll give it a try. If it doesn't I've got some more pots upstairs, it's just this is the only one I had to hand. Carefully transfer our powder in. Ah, oh, just fits. So there we have it. Inexpensive way of making weathering pigments. So that's another quick how-to. If you like what you see here, please share it with your friends. Comment, rate and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.